welcome to another House of Wisdom Lightest and Best video where we look at the lightest and best offerings from a variety of manufacturers. And today we're looking at the Blues Blade Mini Arrow. The Mini Arrow is designed by Will Booth from Kansas and manufactured by Wee Knives in China. The Mini Arrow is a smaller version of the Arrow which came out earlier. They're the same shape with some minor differences. The Mini Arrow has a floating back spacer as opposed to the standoff that the arrow had. The Mini Arrow's lock bar has a cutout which is placed externally. The arrows had an internally placed lock bar cutout. And the lock bar insert over travel stop is held with one screw on the Mini whereas the arrow used two screws. The Mini on its show side has a carbon fiber inlay whereas the arrow was a full titanium knife. And the Mini's clip has three holes, forward-leaning parallelograms. The arrow's clip was a solid clip. The blade length of the mini arrow is three inches. The handle length is 3.75 inches, giving a total knife length of six and three-quarter inches. The total weight of the knife is only one point nine eight ounces yes less than two ounces a very svelte knife i have a variety of other 6.5 inch knives we'll start with the medford micropratorium it's a chunky little knife and then the um, thorburn van heerden a2 a5 knife then the spartan blades metis these are all six and a half inch knives and something that may be a little more familiar with you is the small sabenza the small Sabenza is just a little bit larger, but barely imperceptible than the Booze Blades Mini Arrow. The blade on the Mini Arrow is S35VN. It is a drop point blade with a full flat ground. The tip of the blade comes to a needle-like point, and it has jimping here, but the nice thing about the blade is that it's very comfortable because of this pronounced drop pointness of it that you can get your index finger up to do uh, fine work like taking a splinter out of your finger with that needle tip point. The thumb hole is long and thin and looks cool but isn't very easy for deployment. This is a flipper deployment. If you try to flip it with your thumb hole uh, it's not very good. You can use it like a nail nick and pinch grip it and get it out that way or you can third finger flick it. Unless you're me, of course, I'm not a very good third finger flicker. There you go, I got it out. Okay, the method of deployment, like I mentioned, is the flipper. And uh, the handle is made of a stonewashed AL4V uh, titanium. Mine is anodized blue, but it also comes in bronze and silver. It's hard to get a blue and a purple to be stable. Whenever you touch them, they oftentimes change color, but we nailed it on this one. It's a nice, stable blue. The carbon fiber on the show scale is very smooth, and there is a barely imperceptible transition point between the titanium and the carbon fiber. Very well done. There is a floating backspacer, as I mentioned previously on this knife, and it's very well done, very, very neat, good fit and finish. But because it wraps around, uh, you can bring the tip of the blade out further than most knives. And then when you put your finger in there, the pad of your finger doesn't go in and cut yourself. A normal knife that's on standoffs can't do that. So you're able to get a better blade to handle ratio on this knife just because of that. There's a lot of three inch blades with four inch handles. This is a three inch blade with a three and three quarter inch handle like the Hinder XM18, the Kershaw Leak, and the Browse Bionic all have three inch blades with four inch handles. But this one has a better blade to handle ratio and it's just because that backspacer rips or wraps around the tip of the knife. Well done. Again, Will Booze. Okay, moving on. There's no lanyard hole on this knife, but I don't use one, so it's not that big of a deficit for me. The pivot of the knife runs on caged bearings. It has a triangular captive pivot, and I love that because you just need a T9 Torx driver to take that out, and you're good. Uh, Kai uses a hexagonal pivot 
This is the 0900, which sadly Kai is discontinuing this year. But that's the same idea. Any polygon will do. As long as it's not round, it won't spin, and it makes it a captive pivot. Also, look how beautiful that pivot is. If you can make a pivot both functional and beautiful, you've done well. The lock on the knife is a frame lock. This one has about a 40% lockup, and as all we knives do, it has the lock bar insert and over travel stop. As I've mentioned, the lock bar recess is externally placed. The pocket clip on the knife is a 3D milled clip. It's springy and has uh, blind attachments with screws on the inside for to maintain the sleekness of the outside. It has three forward-leaning parallelograms on the clip, like the smoke. It's noted that the arrow had a solid clip and didn't have these three forward-leaning parallelograms. It's good because it takes metal out of the clip, which allows it to flex better. This is just a joy to get in and out of the pocket. Other knife makers have to do that as well. I'm going to give you an example. This is the Olamic Busker. And to take metal, uh, metal out of the middle of their clip, you see the metal is a little thicker at the attachment point with the pillars and the traction point with the ceramic ball. But in between there, they milled out and thinned out the metal so you could make a nice springy clip that uh, fits into your pants well. One company that didn't do it as well, who's named for their bigness and chunkiness, is the Medford clip. I think this is the most difficult clip to get it because it's just thick and chunky. Everything about Medford's thick and chunky, but look at when I try to uh, lift that clip. It is really a two-handed struggle to get this in and out of your pants, but I love the chunkiness of this knife. It's completely unnecessary, but it just makes me smile. Well, anyway, the clip on the Booze Mini Arrow is well done and thinned out with that metal missing, so it's really easy to get in and out of your pants. The action on the knife is great. The detent on this knife is strong. It just wants to flip uh, well. The return action is a little tough. It's a shakedown because the blade is so light, but the action is smooth. It just takes a little bit of shaking effort to get it back into its place. The ergonomics of the knife are fine. Uh, the handle is thin, but it accommodates all four fingers well. The signage on the knife I really like. The show side is completely sterile, both on the handle and the blade. On the clip side, you have the booze maker mark, which is his collie. I really like that. It's one of the most handsome maker marks in the industry. So there's minimal signage. Uh, you know that the knife is made of S35VN, but there's no designation on the, the knife blade. So what do I think about the booze blades mini arrow? I really like it. Are there opportunities for improvement? Well, the one that I've mentioned, and this may be inherent to it, with such a light blade, it's not really fall shut smooth like you'd have a Shirogorov or a Thorburn or a Tashi Barusha kind of knife. And they didn't do any interior milling on the show side of the scale. I really can't complain because they got it under two ounces, but it could have been a little bit lighter had they chosen to do some interior milling. What do I like about the knife? I like it that it's light. Essentially, it's a full titanium knife with just a little carbon fiber inlay, and it weighs less than two ounces. That is amazing. In the industry, most of the sub-two-ounce knives are either carbon fiber or plastic or FRN handles, some sort of nylon. And I like the price. $199 is really hard to beat. It puts it in there with a lot of production knives, but this quality is a whole lot better than the usual production knife. I like it because you have a great designer, Will Booz, combining with a great OEM manufacturer, We Knives, to make a tremendous product. We Knives does good work, but they've never made a two ounce knife. We Amaze made, made a smaller knife, they made a three inch blade in the We 605, but it weighed a little over four ounces. It was a chunky knife. Some of the best work We Knives does, in my opinion, is their OEM work for other people. I wish that they'd make their own light designs. I also like about the knife, the maker's mark. Look at that collie. What's there not to like about that collie? And I like the overall aesthetic. 
the tri-wing pivot embedded in the carbon fiber inlay. And look at the clip side. You have the three forward-leaning parallelograms, the elongated thumb hole, the sleek uh, trim, smooth line and design of the knife. This knife looks like it's going fast even when it's standing still. In summary, the Booze Blades Mini Arrow is a great knife. It's light, it's relatively inexpensive, it has a great aesthetic, great fit and finish. It is the lightest and best knife from Booze Blades. Well, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the review, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next House of Wisdom Lightest and Best Knife Review video. Mm -hmm.